हर डियर स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अवर ई लर्निंग रिविजन प्रोग्राम एज यू ऑल नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग एग्जाम्पल्स रिगार्डिंग लेंस टू एग्जाम्पल्स वी डिस्कस एंड बिफोर I start today's lecture. I have already kept the data <coughs> written here already because that is going to help you in solving any particular example. Focal length again. Just have a reminder before we start our revision lecture five for concave lens. focal length is always negative for convex lens focal length is always positive v positive means the image is on the <coughs> other side of the lens and it is real and inverted v negative image is on the same side of the lens and it is virtual and erect for convex lens there are <coughs> there are two possibilities for v it can be positive it can be negative but for concave lens there is only one possibility that means that you will get v always negative okay so these are some of the important concept which you need to keep in mind and today dear student you are attending lecture number 5 of revision where we are going to con continue our discussion regarding various numericals of lens okay from the pdf as you know we have solved example 16 and 17 now we just check example number 18 okay just read it first what is given in example 18 read it it is actually i can consider it as an example but just to make your basics clear regarding the ray diagram what is given c in sum number 18 an object 5 cm in length is held 25 cm away from converging lens of focal length 10 cm draw ray diagram find position size and the nature of the image form okay now dear student before we discuss about this what is mentioned you please note down uh, height of the object has been given that is 5 cm it is 25 cm away so u has been mentioned which always remains negative okay u equal to minus 25 cm it is a converging lens means you know converging lens means convex lens of focal lens 10 cm obviously 
when you are dealing with the convex lens focal length is always taken to be positive it is 10 cm let me correct it okay now dear student what they have asked they have actually asked you to draw ray diagram and guess position nature and size of the image what my target is that because we are dealing with the numericals my target is that rather than no doubt after we will solve this example completely we will also draw the ray diagram to understand it no doubt but first let us rather than going for the ray diagram let us move as per the solution of numerical okay we we are looking for m we are looking for h dash we are looking for okay understood i want to sort it first for you as a important numerical let us do that first let us solve it as a numerical okay so dear student what will you write as per okay as per this is compulsory for you to write in solving any example let us mention 1 upon v minus 1 upon u equals to 1 upon f ultimately before solving the example you might be clear dear student because it is convex lens v has to come negative m has to come positive it has to be very very extremely clear in your mind okay substitute the values 1 upon v minus u has been minus 25 1 upon 10 okay let us transfer this is dear student minus minus plus transfer it in this side minus 1 upon 25 okay now it's a question of taking lcm okay 1 upon v minus 1 upon u we have already mentioned all the values and it has been mentioned that it is a converging lens understand focal length 10 cm and this is 25 cm away understand converging lens it has been mentioned already let us find it out here i just like to mention the word converging that means dear student you know convex lens okay so what about your conclusive analysis because it is convex lens we may come positive or we may come negative understood let us do it it's a simple question of taking lcm cross 1 upon v hip 
14 upon 25 into 10 cancellation 5 3 ja 5 5 ja okay so 1 upon v equals to 3 upon 50 okay just reciprocalize it 50 upon 3 if you just carry out the cancellation okay so uh, 3 is uh, 16 ja 48 2 left okay so 3 6 ja 18 2 left okay this is going to continue 16.66 centimeter v turn out positive that simply means v positive means image is real and inverted on the other side of the lens is it clear in your mind and because v is positive that is 16.66 that means m necessarily has to turn negative okay let us continue here m equal to v upon u <coughs> v that is 16.66 this is minus so obviously it is going to be minus understand just multiply for here so you will get 100 and this is just a uh, 4 6 uh, 24 2 26 2 okay uh, 26 2 4 1 uh, 4 plus 2 66 point 64 you can just place minus 0 0.6664 that's the value of magnification to be more precise you can write this way it is all okay minus 66 that's you got already the value of magnification somewhat you can sum up minus 6.7 that is also going to work okay but this is sufficient because when the division is not terminating, you can take arbitrary values, okay? M equal to H dash upon H minus 0 0.66 H dash upon 5. Just cross multiply. This is going to be 5, 6, 30 or 33, okay? 3.30, understand? you got the height of the image already so dear student <clears throat> just you verify okay okay so you got the answer already so which are the important fact v then you got the magnification then you got H dash minus 3.30. I am not just writing the statements of the answer here, but I am just speaking them out. First, what you would like to write? V plus 16.66 centimeter. That means your first answer image is obtained at a distance of 16.66 centimeter on the other side of the lens next statement <coughs> v positive means image is 
real inverted and of size 3.30 cm you marked one thing height of the image was 5 height of the image 3.30 that means what happened the size of the image has reduced from the size of the object this we verified from the example actually in textbook they have mentioned to draw the ray diagram and that also because we got the image height 3.30 cm let us also verify it with the help of lens diagram okay first you note down this before i go for the lens diagram as per the given basic facts okay first you will like to write the statement what i spoke image is obtained at a distance of 16.66 cm on the other side whenever we are speaking other side that means object left side image right side it is virtual and erect of the size 3.30 cm and then we will verify it with the help of lens diagram also understand here actually you got which type of image if i just want to mention real inverted and smaller you understood real inverted and smaller let us verify as per the lens diagram also because in uh, they have mentioned in textbook to draw the ray diagram for this for verifying this particular fact okay suppose dear student let us go as per ray diagram suppose i draw lens diagram okay as you know the center line for the lens okay convex lens okay optical center here what is the focal length has been given dear student 10 cm so obviously you know you do not have to go exactly as per given measurement but if i write f1 and f2 obviously this is already 10 cm that we are just supposing that it is 10 cm obviously if i just mention here center of curvature on both side obviously it is going to be 20 cm this is 10 this is 10 10 plus 10 this is 20 cm where you are keeping the object 25 cm that means away from center of curvature and you are extremely sure about the ray diagram if you have practiced them thoroughly that whenever the object is kept away from center of curvature where you get the image so you must be knowing understand first this is what you have already practiced which is going to pass through the focus okay and another one directly passing through optical center to intersect here and this is the image dear student a des b des so you can verify the fact that image is real inverted and smaller we got value of the v 16.66 somewhere between 16 and 
20. So, this is the fact is also getting thoroughly verified with the help of ray diagram also understand. So, actually in this particular example what they want as per the NCRT book and the exemplar is that that student has to first assess out the given data and they have to at least be sure that the object is kept away from center of curvature and you know dear student as you know the diagram when object is kept away from center of curvature where you will always get the image so always the image is real inverted smaller and it is going to be between f and 2f where you got the distance around 16.66 centimeter okay so this is one numerical we have just now solved that's numerical 18 the numerical 19 is of the same type dear student you can verify it by yourself also okay it's not so difficult numerical as I have discussed just now you can verify it by yourself not so difficult okay so from PDF we have solved numerical 18 19 can be a self-study now let us see some more numericals from your PDF okay so we are now targeting some of the examples okay from PDF itself that is just you verify the example which is given what is that see what is given example number 20 just you read and let me erase the data from here okay you just have a look at the sum PDF in PDF it has been given what is given in that see the read this one number 20 we are discussing a concave lens has focal length 20 centimeter okay and then what is mentioned here focal length 20 centimeter at what distance should the object from the lens placed so that it forms the image at a distance of 10 centimeter from the lens now dear student example number 20 which we are targeting first what has been mentioned there concave lens the moment you come across and you just read out the type of the lens it needs to struck in your mind understood it is concave lens focal length is given f because it is concave lens focal length is going to be negative 20 centimeter at what distance the object should be placed to get an image at a distance of 10 centimeter meter okay we you we are looking for now again the concept clarity whenever it is a concave lens V is always going to be negative okay and where the image is obtained at a distance of 10 centimeter 
okay data which has been given are described and now you will write as per lens formula as per lens formula 1 upon v minus 1 upon u equals to 1 upon f let us substitute 1 upon minus 10 minus 1 upon u 1 upon minus 20 let us transfer minus 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 10 okay minus 1 upon u simple cross upon 20 into 10 okay minus 1 upon u 10 upon 20 into 10 1 cancellation 1 upon 20 just reciprocalize minus 20 centimeters so where you will keep the object at a distance of 20 centimeter in front of the lens okay the final statement you will write therefore object should be placed object should be placed at a distance of at a distance of 20 centimeter in front of lens okay this this is an example dear student from your pdf okay there are few examples uh, 20 we have solved already right all examples are not looking so difficult okay you just verify the number 20 21 I think you can solve it by yourself 21 okay 22 that also you can solve yourself not so difficult let us solve one more example for you okay 22 let us solve but I think it's not so difficult for you 22 you can do it by yourself okay then uh, let us go for as from your PDF number 23 let us go okay 23 let us do dear student you first got the idea regarding this okay now let us move for example number 23 okay number 23 first before I start discussing that particular example first you just read it yourself and then we will target this particular example first you just have a look at the sum what is given in the data power of convex lens obviously concave lens has got negative power and convex lens has got positive power that concept must be very very clear in your mind power of 
convex lens is plus 4.0 d d optic you know that at what distance should the object from the lens be placed to obtain its real and inverted image of the same size on the screen okay first you need to understand the basics of this dear student understand very important for you to first understand the basic C twenty three. It has been mentioned in the example the power of the lens is given that is given for dioptry that you all know. Now you have to check, dear student, where you should place the object so that you get real. inverted image of the same size cds student first power has been given plus 4 okay now dear student power has direct relation with f that you all know very well power is the reciprocal of focal length simply means that focal length is also the reciprocal of the power so uh, you can write this way f equals to 1 upon p okay 1 upon 4 okay so 1 upon 4 you got but as you all know whenever you find focal length from the power it is always in meter okay so we need to convert it into centimeter so simply just multiply by 100 cancel it out you got the focal length 25 cm this is clear no dear student in your mind whenever and whenever you want to find power as you all know if focal length is given you will have to first convert it into meter then and then you are able to find the power so here because power has been given so when you just took the formula f equal to 1 upon p you are getting focal length in meter which is to be converted into centimeter in perpex of the lens as you know f equal to 25 cm now dear student what is mentioned where should the object be placed to get real inverted image of the same size again all diagram of the convex lens has to struck in your mind can you tell me where you will get the real inverted and uh, image of the same size when ever the object is kept at center of curvature obviously you can guess dear student center of curvature means indirectly it is radius of curvature distance from the optical center so if you find this way r equals to as you know 2f 2 into 25 what you got 50 cm just i if i give you the rough idea as you all know here f and here c 
if you keep object here then and then you get exactly at the center of curvature real inverted image of the same size and how much away it is because focal length is 25 this is obviously 50 centimeter you understood so your final answer is object should be placed okay should be placed at a distance of at a distance of 50 centimeter okay this, this way dear student you can consider it a simple numerical you can consider it a numerical at the same time objective also understand in case of objective also they may be able to ask you such examples okay just have a look at the sum and try to gather the basic concept then and then you can solve such numerical okay <coughs> right the same numerical why you need to practice you just need to twist it understand like this that we uh, by just I twist by keeping the object in front of the convex lens we are getting real inverted and image of the same size of the object if radius of curvature is 50 centimeter what is the power for from radius of curvature 50 you will get focal length and then from focal length you can get the power very easily understood so this uh, number 23 for you okay now dear student let us take uh, one more number 24 okay let us see that also actually the concept now which i am discussing is this this concept dear student doesn't need you to just uh, verify how you got the formula but it may happen that when you go understand and when you come across in uh, future in 12th standard when you will learn optics at that time you will come to know how to calculate the power of combination of the lens understand you just uh, here it happened that you are just given a glimpse of this but at that time when you go uh, across in future in 12th standard when you learn optics you will understand really how can you get the power of combination of two lens here we are just having look at one of the example number 24 what is mentioned there you read it two thin lens and dear student concept which we are discussing the applies only for the thin lens that you need to keep in your mind forever only thin lens understand what is mentioned see the number 24 two thin lenses of power 3.5 dioptic and minus 2.5 diopter are placed in contact find the power and focal length of lens combination you read the sum first here what is mentioned two thin lenses are mentioned and their power are also mentioned what are the power of the two thin lenses plus 3.5 d and minus 2.5 d now dear student when it is a question of two lens any time the first power suppose i say p1 plus 3.5 diopter 
एक्टर ओके सेकंड वन माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव डिओप्टर ओके ऑब्वियसली हियर द पावर हैज बीन मेंशन पॉजिटिव सो इट इज डेफिनेटली अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस हियर द पावर हैज बीन मेंशन negative definitely it is a concave lens so you are for designing some particular optical instrument you are going to make an assembly of one convex lens and concave lens to get desired power of the assembly okay how will you find the resultant power by the assembly of the two lens you can mention this way p equals to just to remember you have to algebraically add both the power okay 3.5 minus 2.5 okay this is going to be one diopter and it is positive so dear student you can guess that the power of the assembly of the two lens is plus 1 plus means even though you combine one convex lens and one concave lens the resultant power produce will be of convex lens understand so you can write therefore power of combination is plus 1 diopter and you will also at the same time right it also it actually generates converging assembly why converging assembly because the power ultimately turns out to be positive if we want to just find the focal length of this assembly 1 upon p 1 upon 1 it is going to be 1 meter okay this way numerical can rest of the numerical which are mentioned here you can solve it by yourself number 24 25 26 27 okay but this is <coughs> concept you have to keep in mind whenever you are asked that uh, we are for the design and manufacturing and for supplying some proper converging or means a resulting converging or diverging assembly you will be given some time the combination of the lens so whenever you are given the combination of the lens how will you be able to find its power of the assembly just by algebraically adding powers of all the lenses understand and just by you get the value of the power that will give you an idea whether the assembly will be converging or diverging suppose if we would have got minus 1d you will have written the word that it generates and diverging assembly okay as per the requirement such assembly of lenses are also today combined to create some necessary power in design of optical instrument you understood this okay so dear student this is today lecture number 5 again for revise revising understand as we started it in lecture 4 but lecture 4 and 5 both for simply the revision of all examples regarding lenses which you need to practice more and more will help in 12th when you cover optics understand but at the same time it is important for you even for your ntsc phase 1 so prepare thoroughly 
make your concept clear and always keep when you solve numerical regarding lens this basic points in your mind you understood this okay thank you very much